Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get into this one immediately, okay? Holy smoke, is it ain't no joke. Is what's going on, Toxic Gamers? We gotta actually get into this one immediately. Protect your games, okay? Hide your games, hide your controllers, because they're coming to get them! They're coming to get them! They are trying to get them, actually. But apparently, the story that we're hearing is actually wild. This one is wilder than Johnny Sins movies, guys. It's wilder than if you know, Yellowstone was to blow up tomorrow. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. You know, gotta give everybody the equal opportunity here. Guys, listen, I'm not a savage here, bruh. I'm not a savage here, okay? First of all, salute to Captain BBC! Uh, apparently, story is going crazy. I wanna show you guys this, okay? Shout out to the homie Smash JT. Roll it. Sometimes it feels like gamers just can't win, especially in the modern era where agendas yeah. being pushed, propaganda being propped up there, and we have journalists that are activists at the end of the day that have finagled their way into an industry that, let's be honest, they don't even care. He laughing. <laughs> He laughing, bro, bro laughing about the games that they're covering as long bro laughing, bro laughing as they're able to insidiously inject themselves into this industry. That's all they care about because with that they can push their message. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT and the other day I was researching information for this crazy hit the other day <laughs> the other day my guy like it's every day right now bro every day sick is be researching sick is be getting like their their notepads open you know what i'm saying sick is be going like sick is doing this man everybody got that twitter finger pro right like finger pro uh perk from call of duty like straight up man but now nah, honestly the situation is crazy man like bruh like can can we just get good games like the video if you agree man like the video if you just want good games simple simple let's not even complicate it where are the games? Where are the games? What is going on in gaming? Back in the days, it would be like, okay, that game is coming out, this game is coming out. Oh man, it's uh, it's so hard, bro. I gotta save money for this game. I gotta save money for that game. Oh man, another game. Why does this game gotta look so good that I have to save my money for that game too? <laughs> struggles, you know, different times, different struggles. So we used to like, hey man, like I wanna buy this game. I wanna buy that game. And nowadays it's like, Where are the games? Hit piece from the New York Times that was in conjunction with Ubisoft and- Man, like, Captain BBC never leaving me, man! A salute to Captain yeah. BBC! Damn, Damn man, how many times I gotta salute to Captain BBC, bro? Like, leave me alone right now, man. Leave me alone. Damn, Interviewing ex-employees of Sweet Baby Inc., but not disclosing that, and of course, hating on gamers because that's what they always do. They target and attack people that want their games to be free of all this. Uh, context, apparently Ubisoft did say a while ago that uh, gamers should get real comfortable not owning their games. I guess it was in context of, uh, you know, digital games, uh, subscription services and crap like that. But then gamers were like, let me get real comfortable real quick, okay? I'm gonna get real comfortable right now. Son, and everybody started getting comfortable, everybody started not buying their games and they turned around. Uh, people are also saying that, hey bro, like, why you gotta do this to black people? Why you gotta do this to the Asian people? Why you suck is always using LGBT people as shields? Why you using black people as shields? Why you making black people gay in the game all the time this and that so yeah people are calling out right like my my black brothers my black homies everybody like all my homies all my brothers are out there calling them out this and that right and, and yeah like a uh, situation got out of hands needless to say and ubisoft turned around and they say gamers are toxic gamers are problematic <laughs> gamers deserve to die okay they did not go that way or they did not go that crazy but like they said gamers are toxic so <laughs> gamers are problematic e -e -e -e. gamers are problematic bs but at the end of the day that's not what's happening and the truth is getting out there and it is burning all these people inside they can't stand it but regardless, while I was researching this character, Kazuma Hashimoto, the rabbit hole went deep. Like I said in that video. Wait, what? Dear Kazuma Hashimoto, the. How hey, can you be in Dragon's Dogma to an investigation? Oh man, people are investigating that? Bruh. Our critic explores love and dating in Capcom's new action role play game. What the? Yo, what's up with like. All the sexuality in the game, man. What was the sexuality in the game, bro? Can we just get good games? Back in the days, bro. What is going on? 
Why can't a game just have a good story, good gameplay, and a good game? And be a good game. That's it. That's it. Simple as that. Why you gotta force, like, sexuality everywhere? Not everything needs to have that, mother effer. Uh, I don't wanna swear on YouTube. Uh, cannot swear. I mean, I can, but it's, it's gonna affect, right? So. Yeah, it'd be what it will. Yeah, welcome to YouTube, uh, YouTube guys. Welcome to YouTube, but. The rabbit hole went deep. Like I said in that video, I couldn't believe just how much information I uncovered with it. One of those things was a Twitch stream from this ex-employee that he didn't think anybody would find. Ex-employee? Apparently, he's not familiar with how I research things. I am extremely thorough because I want to make sure I get the story right. Oh, and if I ever do mess up, I'd like to think I come forward and say, hey, I messed up on that. I want to do better next time. I feel like a lot of these activists that pose as journalists could learn a thing or two from that. But I digress. In this Twitch stream, he had- I love, I love learning and growing, but not from you. Had acknowledged that not just how Sweet Baby Inc. was a former employer, not just that he didn't work on Assassin's Creed Shadows, yet was being used as a source for the New York Times, and also how how he was a contractual worker for over three years at Sweet Baby Inc. But most importantly, the biggest takeaway that I got from it was that he is being impacted now in future employment opportunities and has to leave Sweet Baby Inc. off the resume because oh. if employers found out that he worked there, they wouldn't want to hire him. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full exhaustive article going through this Twitch stream that this Kazuma Hashimoto didn't think anybody was going to locate. We're going to be playing Spotify over today's entire stream once I swap to World of Warcraft, so it gets hit with copyright audio or I'm just going to delist it because I don't want to like... Uh, deal with the repercussions of like someone finding this twitch channel and then linking it to me um and just having a bad time because of it i doubt it will happen because i was not super candid about any of that which is okay. good i'm glad that i did that because i wouldn't want people coming to my twitch stream anyways that's part of why i did this rebrand in the first place the information i found on this stream gives us a clear picture of just how the tides are shifting in the favor of gamers and the industry professionals are starting to toxic gamers that's what they refer to us as push back against DEI driven narratives that have been insidiously seeping into game development over the past few years. And during that Twitch stream, Hashimoto begrudgingly discussed his struggle to find work after his stint at Sweet Baby Inc. He struck me as a fairly tepid individual that definitely suffers from some severe mental issues, which he acknowledges himself on the stream or herself. I'm not even sure about that one, but regard- uh, 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 Okay, so I'm a trans man who writes about politics. Okay. Then get a job in like that domain. Like why you wanna like be in the video game space? Oh yeah, okay, li listen, uh, it says uh, he or she, okay, I don't even know, bro, like, okay, I'm kind of, I'm confused right now. Like, is it a man or is it a female? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely confused, bro, like, I, I don't know, but, okay, you do you, queen or king, I, I don't know, bro, but, but, yeah, you want to write about politics? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, a lot of people enjoy politics, a lot of people also don't like it, but this does not belong in video games. Simple as that, simple as that. Regardless of that, this person is definitely dealing with a lot of demons inside of them. I'm, um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm getting by. Last night was bad. I'm oh, currently damn. in the middle of, like, a depressive episode. I'm by bipolar disorder, so I go up and down pretty frequently. But that just sets the stage. Up and down frequently? Okay. For other things he talks about this and it's about a 15 minute or so rant where he goes in and out of talking about what sweet baby ink has done how it has impacted his life in a negative way and kind of giving the mantra of wishing that he never worked there in the first place yeah. but at the same time yeah nobody should work there also kind of confused about life in general and just kind of aimless okay he's learning and growing okay i like that yeah everybody deserve uh, equal uh, or second chances okay okay fair fair with a direction i've done consultant work under um sweet baby ink and Boo. i've written for polygon and ign and those are apparently like the three big oh, alt-right flags well i can say that i didn't do any consultation work on assassin's creed shadows okay um 
I the stuff I did with Sweet Baby, I probably will never be able to talk about just because of the way that game development works. So yeah, it's it's really, really weird. When he starts talking about how Sweet Baby Inc. is negatively impacting his search for work, I think it really starts to expose exactly the main problem with the game industry. Okay, so does that mean that like, okay, what does he mean like he's not able to get jobs? Is he searching for new jobs in the video games industry? If so, does that mean that the publishers are finally realizing and they are de-associating themselves from Sweet Baby Inc? I would say that's a W. That is a W. I, okay, better late than never. Better late than never. And and indeed, uh, PlayStation still have that 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 marathon game right people are calling that concord 3.0 that fair games people calling that concord 2.0 because they look like concord they feel like concord in other words trash they belong in one place and one place only the garbage can that's where they they belong so uh, and, and those games are trash like they are just simply existing to grab your wallets to to nickel and dime you it's cash grab basically that's what it is right and, and and now we know what jim ryan was talking about and jim ryan peaced out he left the company i guess you know he was he's getting older uh he got old i guess so makes sense but also he ended up ruining playstation to a certain degree <laughs> or maybe not listen man i don't i don't know man i don't work there so i don't know how much of his hand was involved in that but their new ceo is herman holst and guess what we heard that concord is herman holst baby and he pushed for that game to come out and they tried so hard to get that game out that they even if they had to spend millions they would and they would get it out and they did get it out eventually by spending 400 million us dollars oh, shit. Oh, shit. and you know apparently plot twist ladies and gentlemen if you did not know uh, everybody knows but hey man spoiler alert it gets shut down not even two weeks after it gets shut down and, and, and they made a profit of zero dollars and they spent 400 million dollars and herman it was herman house baby apparently that's what it's being claimed and, and he's now the ceo of playstation and listen man it, it is over bro it is over and i own a playstation myself oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, and if you're an xbox andy if you're on xbox and you laughing bro don't man yo we in this together bruh that's my that's my non-existing dog by the way guys like for the for the doggo yeah gamers looking like this right now everybody looking like this damn homie like don't bite the keyboard don't bite the laptop like that man damn this is xbox right now guys like we in this together when i say when we in this together i mean we in this together bro we just want good games man where are the games where are the games gamers deserve more as a brown man i demand good games i demand our generation our young generation to feel how we felt when we were getting games during the ps3 and xbox 360 era and those games were some of the best games ever on the face of the planet mankind came together and made some of the best games okay so they made masterpieces but nowadays these i guess crazy but wait for and it. how it's starting to finally naturally work itself out just so you guys do know like there are definitely jobs that i've had where like people have seen like the fact that i've worked for sweet baby and it's been like a year since i've even worked with them okay. um and it's just on like a contractual basis when i was so like just periodically for like a couple of years um people will literally be like hey uh are we gonna get harassed for hiring you and i think that really sucks that instead of being like we'll protect our employee um the employer or potential person giving you the contract will be more concerned about that than protecting their employees. Now this is an interesting quote because it flies directly in the face of what our good friend Kim Belair was saying about how they aren't taking anything seriously and none of this is impacting Sweet Baby Inc. And they're just going about their business and it's just noise and they're just They're taking none of it none of it seriously ends up getting a bunch of studios shut down. <laughs> Yeah, prime example, Saints Row. They got them shut down. There was another studio. There were a couple other studios that got shut down because of Sweet Baby Inc. Because they infiltrated their games. And then their fans did not like their games. Because, of course, like... You, you know what I mean? Those games were trash. It, they belonged in the garbage. And then they ultimately had to shut down their own studio. Suicide Squad, another example. Uh, another game. They had to slash their employees in half. More than half is what we heard, right? 
Yeah, so so many projects got just demolished, annihilated even. Ignoring it because they because have their them. jobs there and they have these companies. These companies don't care about all the noise from the YouTubers. They're just going along. Yeah, but it, it ain't that serious, guys. We got a couple of studios shut down, but it, but it ain't that serious. Making their games and completely failing every time one of them releases. Annoying is a very good word for it because yeah. largely it doesn't it doesn't materially affect our work, right? Mm. The vast majority no. of these companies already know what's going on, and, and they still they still hire us. They they know what we actually do, and, and it doesn't necessarily change our baseline survival, but it, it does change the you know comfort level with which we can exist in in, in online spaces. But of course, Kim Blair is going to say that because it behooves her to. I mean, obviously, she's not going to say, "Holy crap, everything's impacting us, and our business is failing." Because <laughs> then she wouldn't be able to try to find new work. Because companies yeah. would realize, "Oh wait, that is bad. We probably shouldn't associate with any of these consultancy groups." So they're going to. If they're not realizing after everything that's going on, they never will. They never Nor will. the flames in their building in the background and just pretend everything's hunky-dory in hopes that they can continue to pull the wool over the eyes of more developers in the future. Do yeah. employers know the law is on their side? It's, uh, well, the thing is, like, I don't think there are many places that will take retaliatory actions other than, like, Bungie did it. But I don't... Bungie's a f and it's a mess of a company, but they absolutely went to bat for their employees at one point. Um, and when you're a contractor, they're not obligated to. That's the thing. I'm not like a full time employee or anything. So it's just kind of like. Yeah, they don't care about the thing. You, essentially. Okay. You wash your hands of it, you know? It sucks. Damn, man. Like, imagine. So I feel bad for this man, man. Damn. So he was part of Sweet Baby Inc. So they helped. Uh, he helped essentially get a couple of games destroyed. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> so like, yeah. So he and Sweet Baby Inc. Together they destroyed games, uh, ruined games, and all that. And now Sweet Baby Inc. is like, okay, we don't wanna. We don't want none to do with you. That's that's crazy, man. That is crazy. I guess that that's how the mafia works, right? You know. Like yeah, so if you're in like let's just say in like crime business or something like that, right? You're protecting your boss. Hey boss, I got you, boss, I got you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey boss, I got you, boss, I got you, man. So and then the boss shoots you. Yeah, like but the boss don't care about you. Damn son, the boss don't care about you. We're essentially seeing that happen in real time. It really sucks. But developers are becoming extremely cautious and realizing that the agenda-driven narratives in these consultancy groups aren't even a necessity. They were worried about being canceled before if they didn't work with them. And as the times have changed and the pendulum started swinging back, now they're worried about being canceled if they do. Um, a couple of months ago, the New York Times actually got in touch with me to ask me about Assassin's Creed, in which I was like, yeah, reception's honestly like kind of positive. And a lot of the comments you'd see under videos were like straight up. Up, like Google Translate comments. And then Hashimoto starts going into talking about how he never worked on. Yeah, kind of positive. Ca a salute to Captain <laughs> BBC! <laughs> My voice dying right now, man. Assassin's Creed Shadows, but yet for some reason, the New York Times used him as the source of truth for something that he was completely fabricating lies about how apparently people in America and around the world were making up fake accounts to yeah. try to impact online interactions in Japan. Like, Bruh. sure, I'm I'm sure a couple Bruh. or a few people were doing it, yeah. but the way Hashimoto is talking about it is like, no, it's not an issue at all in Japan. That it's kind of the reception for Assassin's Creed. Shadow's kind of positive, and I'm not even sure which one is it. So earlier said that, yeah, Sweet Baby did not work. I think they did not work is what I believe he or she said. Uh, and, and now, like, they're acting like a source for Assassin's Creed Shadows, speaking with New York Times and be like, yeah, the reception, kind of positive, yeah, yeah, kind of positive, guys, kind of positive. I mean, have you not seen the reaction online? <laughs> have you not seen, like, the reaction online? Bruh, like, what are we talking about, man? What are we talking? What are we talking? That was all people in America just trying to cosplay as Japanese people to make this a bigger issue than it really was. And like people are like annoyed with some of the inconsistencies and issues in Shadows, which is like, you know, okay. the buildings and stuff being wrong or certain clothing and whatnot, right? Or the fact that the art team basically stole a sign from a reenactment troupe in Japan. That's actually like pretty common because when you're working with such a large team of artists, you, um, yeah. well, well, guys, it happens. You know, when you're working with a large company, it happens. Man, these things were boasting about having actual, like, what? Like, historians there 
they had encyclopedia encyclopedia or uh, i don't even know how to say that okay english is not my first language okay? yeah. that's my excuse because english is not my first language there we go but but here's the thing though they were boasting about having historians japanese historian guys japanese historian they ended up sending japanese youtubers assassin's creed shadows goodies the merch and all the collector's items and guess what the japanese youtubers couldn't even read it because why there was Chinese Mandarin, Mandarin written on it. <laughs> Ubisoft, they're genius historians that they hired. They're genius Japanese historians they, they hired, apparently ended up writing Mandarin. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. Love my Chinese homies, love my Mandarin homies, love my Japanese homies, love my, my homies in general. But like, damn, homie, like, damn, bro. Sometimes they're just sort of given the direction to Google things um there we go and people make mistakes takeaways from this quick stream were pretty strong where it feels like not only is this person suffering from severe mental issues and probably some trauma that happened at some point in their life but that doesn't even matter here or there the bigger issue is they're taking that with them as baggage and bringing it on board to other people do make mistakes but we're talking about ubisoft bruh it's a billion dollars corporation there's zero excuse for butchering somebody's culture like that Damn, this like is crazy. Their companies and these developers used to be like, yeah, sure, we'll be inclusive and bring you into it. And then realizing after the fact that by doing that, you're actually excluding real gamers that want real game experiences and don't want them to be ruined by someone that doesn't really care about gaming. As it got uncovered in my previous video about this Hashimoto character, they're not a gamer. They're not even a journalist. They are a self-proclaimed activist. Of course they are, because just like all these other journalists out there in the game industry, they have an agenda and propaganda and a narrative they want shoved out there. And they will do whatever it takes to get there. And then when it all comes- Now, now here's the thing though, like I'll, I'll keep it simple, okay? So you, you got your beliefs, you got your beliefs, right? You can post it on your account. Hey, I don't have to subscribe to that. I don't have to follow that. Damn, what are we talking about? But I also believe that you're allowed to say whatever you want as long as you're not hurting people, right? So say whatever you want, but hey, like, come on now, right? Like, stop pushing that crap down people's throat. Stop pushing that in video games and all that bull squash. Stop doing that bull squash, right? What we're we talking about? You, you have the right <laughs> to post whatever you want on your profile. I don't have to follow, but if people like what you have to say, yeah, people can follow. People can follow you, and you got your own community. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's cute. That's cute. But stop pushing that in video games, man. It's crashing down on them. They go and cry saying, oh, everyone's so mean to me. No one understands me. Everyone just wants everything to be bad. And I just want things to be good out there. Because the reality is, once they get exposed, they go to the same result every time. Protected mode. Cry to everyone about how everyone's so mean. Oh, I'm getting death threats and all these awful things are happening to me. Instead of facing reality and saying, huh, what I'm doing and where I'm working at probably isn't the place I should be. And Max. actually acknowledging that firsthand and getting accountability accountability your ass out of that industry and somewhere else where you might actually be happier but mm. then again by doing that you can't push your message and your agenda exactly guys check out this video on the screen man insane dramas came out regarding mr beast i'm not sure if you guys saw that or not if you already seen it then do not check out the video on the left guys absolutely don't do it don't do it don't do it and don't